and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some five color gates to finish out our rotation proof Monday today. That's right, on Mondays what we do is we build decks that are rotation proof, which means that they will not be affected by rotation that's happening whenever Throne of Eldraine is released. What's up, Hawkeye? Looks like Hawkeye wants to come join the stream today. And so whenever Throne of Eldraine does release, the we're going to lose four sets from Standard, and we're only going to have Guilds of Ravnica, Ravnica Allegiance, More of the Spark, and M... You can't butt off the screen. And uh, M20 are going to be the only sets in Standard to go along with Throne of Eldraine. So what we're doing on these Mondays here is building decks that just have those... those uh, just cards from those sets that are staying around. So you don't have to worry about crafting any cards that are going to be rotating out here in about five weeks or so. I uh, don't know the exact date yet. Um, so far, this is our 12th rotation proof deck to play. If you've missed any of them, you want to check out other ideas. Of course, make sure you go into the YouTube channel if you're here in Twitch chat. But if you're watching this on YouTube, you, there's the playlist with all the rotation proof decks over there. All right, so this one here, this is the first deck is of one that I haven't put together. This is a viewer has been uh, playing this deck here. King J here has been playing this deck quite a bit uh, recently. Like this has been their rotation proof deck, and so they've they've been testing it out and you know having some good success with it, and it looked really cool. So I wanted to try it out for myself. So thankfully, uh, King J sent me the list, and this is what we have. So. We have basically three drop tribal, as you can see here. We even have too many three drops. They go off the page. So we got Othakaya over here. Um, but you know, we got we got normal gate stuff. Like our deck is really just a Gates of Blaze deck. You know, like right, like this is like the most important card is Gates of Blaze, of course. But then we also have the Gatebreaker Ram, your Circuitous Route, your Guild Summit, your Gate Colossus, you know, like your your normal gate stuff. But besides that, because we're going five colors. We actually have like some cool little planeswalkers and planeswalker synergies and stuff. We have, you know, like little Teferi because this card's just pretty broken. So we got that in here. Chandra can provide pressure against other planeswalkers or recast Gates of Blaze, which is, you know, important to have even more Gates of Blazes. Can also recast Grow Spiral or Mortify. Um, Tamio gets stuff back from the graveyard as well. Um, and then Othakaya helps protect our, our planeswalkers and. Um, and we get to recast Oth you know, bounce Othakaya, recast it, you know, the whole Teferi Time Raveler Othakaya. Like, the, that's just a great combo. Top end, we got Krasis for whenever we have a whole lot of mana, which Gates decks usually do. And then also Golos, another reason to be five colors. So we can have Golos activate Golos. Golos and Krasis don't work very well together, but Golos works well with everything else in the deck. So this looked to be a pretty cool card, or a pretty cool deck. We have some other fun ones in the cyborg. Got some manipulations, a Jace, a Chandra. Just a whole bunch of stuff going on here. Um, oh yeah, also we're a Field of the Dead deck because you know why not? Let's throw something else in here too. We got Field of the Deads. So this one just looks pretty crazy. It's all over the place. I like it. I'm excited to play it. Let's do it. Let's see how many wins we can get here in our traditional constructed league. See if we can get to five wins before two losses. What's up, Wild BTK? Let's get some hype in here. That is our 10th sub of the day. Thank you so much there, Wild BTK. Thanks for resubbing for 18 months now. All right, so... That is a sub goal towards our next 12 hour stream. I do a 12 hour stream every 20 total sub goals that we hit. And that's sub goal number 11. What are, you, what are you doing? Here, bite this thing. Don't bite me. Bite the pen. One land, that's not enough lands. Um. <laughs> Well, we can't cast anything in our hand, but I think this is a keep. We'll get rid of the Chandra. All 
All right, now I'm going to update that. So that's that's sub goal number 11. So we're already halfway towards our next one. I'm going to update that on the info panel here. <laughs> the info panel, of course, is a part of like the live stream. So I just like I was looking at that and I drew a Golo. So I was like, oh man, that's a bad draw. And then I realized, wait, that was what I just drew just a little bit ago. All right, let's hopefully find some Gates of Blazes. We are a 27 land deck, you know, like, right? Because we're Gates, we need lots and lots of lands. So we're a 27 land deck. So the point was, it, it was pretty likely that we're going to find some more lands. Don't think Krasis for one is our best use of Krasis. Yeah, we're probably going to be doing Azorius Flyers Ugh. next Monday. <laughs> all right, got to kill this thing that pumps up all the other Flyers. And that gives me mana here to use on this thing. I mean, I guess I should have played this first because, you know, maybe we drew Gates of Blaze. All right, so that's got to, got to play that first because we could have just Gates of Blaze, potentially. Gates of Blaze, we need you. Gates of Blaze, we need you. Okay. Barely alive. Barely alive. So Field of the Dead would trigger, but drawing a card is going to be more valuable than making a 2-2 right now, so I'd rather draw the card. So I'd rather play that thing. So I guess they have a pump effect. And Sky Tether. Yes, please, for Ar Archway Angel. Um, more sweepers, please. Okay. So Chandra can recast sweepers, but we have to draw the sweeper first. Um, but yeah, Chandra, Tamio, Golos, Gate Colossus, like those four cards that we had didn't look like in this matchup were don't look like cards that we need needed too much. Time Raveler doesn't really seem too great either here though. I mean I guess I guess we have the Time Raveler Oath of Kaya combo. Okay. No, our opponent was not trying to be rude. That was a, 
was a really a one-sided game. I mean, we cast a good amount of spells. Our deck's just really slow. And against aggro without yeah, against aggro without a blaze. We are in a world of trouble. Game one. We got more sweepers in the sideboard to help out. All right, a blaze keep. Oh, duh. Never mind. <laughs> Should have played Field of the Dead. I just played the island because I was like, "Ooh, I'll play Teferi here." You know, white mana. <laughs> I was like, "I'll keep them from being able to counter Gates of Blaze later." Yeah, no big deal. Gate break a ram. I mean, I guess our ablaze is only doing two damage. So like, if they maybe I need to ablaze there, cause darn it, that's that's the card. I was gonna say if they play a Pyrion Eagle, don't actually get to kill stuff. Draw a gate. Well. This is the cost of having a deck that's kind of all over the place is you have consistency issues. You know, with like the Field of the Deads and like the other lands, like we don't have enough gates. All the time. We, we really can't afford them to play another Lord. Okay, that's that's game. All right, let's try again. Yeah, I just couldn't. I mean, I guess I need to gates to blaze away the two creatures, I guess, before they started playing the the things that pumped them up. We needed to do more than two damage. All right, it's looking good. Let's get rid of Field of the Dead. I want these other cards. I want the I want the two gates. I want the gain life. We're a long ways away from turning on Field of the Dead, and I could I could just play Plaza right now and then start growth spir spiraling, but Looks like we can kind of take a little bit of time. Make sure we gain that life and stuff. Oh, no, never mind. I was, th you know, I'm just used to playing, you know, Breeding Pool Islands. You've been kind of used to playing these Gape Shift decks. Um, yeah, we'll play you. Pass. Very aggressive line.
That's pretty nice draw here with the Field of the Dead. I mean, obviously the Gatebreaker Ram resolving is pretty incredible too. I I wasn't really expecting that to resolve, so I wanted wanted to be able to next turn have Ram plus a Blaze. But this this was a really good hand for us. Yeah, this, this is about as good as our, our deck does as far as an opener here. I like it. We've got all five colors of our mana. We have two of our three two mana cards that help ramp us. I have four gates. So I can either mortify the cutthroat to keep the ram alive and hit him for six here. This thing has trample anyway, so I can just do it after blocks. Or a blaze. And I want to a blaze. I want to get rid of that ambusher and the sailor. Do they just have another unsummon? All right, looking pretty good for us. Yay. Kitty's clapping. Yeah. Yeah, Trickster Trickster just trades with Gatebreaker Ram cuz yeah, you lose all ability, so the Great Gatebreaker Ram turns into a 2-2 against Trickster. Yeah, this this honestly has got to be a pretty tough matchup. We were really fortunate to win that, I think. Like, that was about as good as we could do. What what would you be doing here, King J? I don't even know what I want to do. I mean, like, Chandra's uncounterable. That's in. But, like, negate. I could see negate, time wipe, Clarion. Golos is really important. Tamio and Chandra. I don't think I want Tamio or Chandra. Maybe a time wipe and a couple of negates. Let's try that. You want Narset? I don't think Narset does very much. Just like they're they're like one one flyer like like they'll just pick off Narset and just kill Narset before she does anything. Like she'll just like minus and then die. I mean they can they'll just have their their spectral sailor will just kill the Narset. 
It's not too much of a counter. I guess this card's really slow. Maybe take that out. So I do really like having, you know, keeping this hand like we need to draw another green or blue source for the growth spirals, but I do really like the growth spirals being able to play on their turn. Now, against their aggressive start, this isn't doing anything to help me. So, this is not a good keep against turn one Sailor, turn two Cutthroat. All right, we got to draw. I was, I was definitely hoping that they were going to be a re like keeping this hand. I was hoping they were going to be a reactive hand, you know, with like a lot of counter spells, where we could sit back and grow spiral and everything. These angels? I got six mana though. Skilled summons are, are too slow. That's one guild summit for one archway angel. No. So like Clarion, if they if they just have the one drops, Clarion's okay, but Clarion's not gonna be that good against the cutthroat later. It's not gonna be good against the, the wolf. It's basically just kills the one drop, which is why I don't really want it. This could just be really tough for us. If they have aggressive hand like that. Being really aggressive with just a counter spell or two. We just can't cast Grow Spiral. Certainly seems like we need more green and blue lands and less of this red and black. Um, I know what to do. All right, they're playing gates also. a lot of hands in a row that we've had zero castable cards though it's unfortunate you know like last game our seven card hand our six card hand our five card hand no these have castable spells
GG Resolve Darn Yeah, I think the best sets to be buying are there's three sets um, War of the Spark just has like the the most like just really good impactful cards. Guilds of Ravnica and Ravnica Allegiance are the other two where th those two sets have also a lot of very good cards, but then the the Shocklands as well. The Shocklands are are vital to have in standard and so each of those sets have Shocklands, which are really important. If there's any particular deck that you're looking looking at though and you're you're looking towards um, you know, something that, that you want to, you know, like something that you want to play, take a look at that deck, take a look at the, the cards from that deck, you know, like if, if there are, you know, like your Ravnica Allegiance Mythics, like Hydroid Crisis, or your War of the Spark Rares, like Tamiyo, you know, like you can kind of look at and see like where your Rares and Mythics are. Um, that's the, that's the important thing is looking for Rares and Mythics, really Rares, like, because you don't open up very many Mythics, and... Commons and uncommons are a little easier to get, so it's really like the rares. Focus on like the rares for the different sets of like what, you know, you can even just kind of go through the, the rares and, and seeing what you want to um, open. So that's that's where you should really look towards as rares. All right, anyway, our five color gates deck, unfortunately did not work for us. Um, nothing really worked here, unfortunately. Um, definitely kind of seems like maybe not playing Field of the Dead and maybe not Five Colors and just focusing on like the just the Teamer shell Splash White for like Deafening Clarion and Archway Angel kind of thing you know just more traditional gates um, could be more successful I wasn't impressed with you know having cards like Tamiyo, Chandra just the black cards, Golos. You know, like these, like, we just kind of got ran over a couple of times. Like, we just played against two aggressive decks, ran us over. Um, that's, that's just can happen in two matches, you know. Yeah, just yeah, playing against, like, our deck is very slow. And so, like, we're, like, we are a slow deck that we're trying to go over the top of other slow decks, basically. Um, Outgrind other slow decks. Aggro, like that is going to run us over and that's we just had a small sample there a couple of aggro matches um which happens you know like it's same kind of thing with the selesnia monsters earlier we played against two really bad matchups there you know we, in the with the selesnia deck we played against planeswalker control and scape shift two decks that i couldn't really like the two decks that i talked about before during during the thing was that those are the two decks i did not want to face and we did and this one we faced to get the aggro decks where I wanted to face him with the Selesnya deck. <laughs> so, you know, that's how magic works. Uh, sometimes you, you get paired against the decks you don't want to face. But, um, but yeah. Ro if you want a, a pretty crazy-looking rotation at proof five-color gates, I can tell you that the, the deck plays better than what those two matches looked. Those two matches uh, didn't give us a, a whole big, a big sample, but... Um, I know the, the person that that submitted this has been playing it a lot and playing and having some some success with it and everything and enjoying it and having fun with the deck. So, if you like playing some gates, go ahead and try it out. Let me know how it goes. Uh, hopefully, you have some better success than we just had there. Ah, thanks, Jack Team. You're awesome, also. You're awesome as well. So yeah, if you're watching it later on YouTube, let me know in the comments. 
Uh, if you try the deck out first, let me know how it's going for you. Um, but there we go. All right, so that's five color gates. And of course, also, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. And also, if there are other rotation proof decks that you want to see for next Monday, let me know in the comment section there as well. I think I'm going to be making an Azorius Flyers for sure. And I'm not sure, you know, not, uh, haven't picked out what we're doing for the other three decks. If you have some good suggestions, let me know there also. But that's Rotation Proof Monday. Uh, check out the Rotation Proof playlist on YouTube. For those of you here in Twitch chats, the YouTube uh, link is just youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. That's easy to find there. We've played 12 Rotation Proof decks now. Um, you know, so playing like with only four sets to work from, there's, you know, like we're getting through a lot of stuff here. Um, a lot of, a lot of good decks, a lot of fun decks and everything. So check those out. All right. Thank you so much for watching five color gates and I will see you for the next video. Take care.